We'll go ahead and start. If you don't mind, we'll do the pledge for you to do the prayer. Uh, <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we come before thee this evening asking your blessing to be upon us as we assemble to discuss the business of this city. May we have the knowledge and the wisdom to apply our ordinances and resolutions to the best of our ability and uh, for the betterment of our community. We do, Father, ask your blessing to be continued upon the Quisenberry family as they recover from their loss. Bless yes. them and comfort them as only you can. These things and all things we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. In fact, I would like to extend that a little further, ask everybody to keep the Davis Quisenberry family in your prayers. Commissioner Davis, as everyone I'm sure was aware of, his grandson was killed in the plane crash two weeks ago, and he is with his family in Florida this week, and he goes a lot, but I think his daughter and son-in-law went with him, and grandson, and uh, maybe even, does Matt go, Matthew and him go too? Usually, I think the whole bunch went. Matt so, which is something they probably really needed was to get away. But I do wish everybody to keep those folks in your prayers and thoughts. It was a rough time. I saw today. What's his name? Andy. 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 He, I saw him a while ago coming back in. Looked like he'd been working. Sometimes Andy won't go with him. Okay. He'll, he'll be home by himself. I think him and Norman goes for two weeks. One week he's he's new with the grandkids, and the second week he's the whole family. Well, he just told me that. I thought they were going this week because it's fall break, okay. and Amy's not teaching. Okay. Yeah. Still, it's been a tough, tough time for him. So. Okay. First item of business is the minutes. I have to make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is approval of paying the bills. I move to pay all bills. I second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, next item is old business. The only item we have under old business is the second reading of the 2023 tax rate. Uh, we passed the first reading. Huh? It's supposed to be first reading. I thought we've no, had, we've the had, the, we've had the first reading. We've had the first. It's the second. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You do right. Yeah. I move to approve the second reading of the 2023 tax rate. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Yeah, I just. Just a reprint of second reading of the tax rate. Well, then. First new item under new business would be the VC3 Internet Service Spectrum or AT&T. Yes, I had emailed, was it Eric? Is that his name? And we can, he said the 50 MB is what we would need. And I've got, we've got a price from Spectrum and a price from AT&T. Uh, a two-year plan with Spectrum is 575, but a two-year with AT&T is 606. A three-year with Spectrum is four ninety-nine, and a three-year with AT&T is five twenty-five. Uh, we have not talked to Spectrum to see if theirs is compatible with our new drone system that we have. Uh, what I'd like you know, is if we can get a hold of AT&T and see if they would match Spectrum's prices and just stay with AT&T. Well, that's what you want to do. That's your business. But I don't know about business lines, but residential lines, AT&T can't touch Spectrum with their quality. So you might want to consider okay. asking some other business what they've got if you we're, can find we're out. We're leaning towards AT&T because we just had a new phone system. And, of course, everybody's going to tell you, yes, they get it work. But well, I'm sure that's, that's true. But I just asking about your reliability. Okay. I just know that they're better in residential. Okay. So right now I'm asking that we go, go ahead and go with AT&T. 
Well, I'd rather make, find out all your questions are answered to your ability that you got all the questions you want answered. Don't you think that'd be better? Well, the, the only question that we have is if it's going to be compatible with the phone system. Since we have AT&T phone system and new AT&T phones. But you're asking us to prove one of them. You, are you wanting us to? Well, I, I just, all I want to ask at and is if they will match their price that Spectrum has because it's $25 or $30 difference in price. So what are you wanting us to do? I would like for you all to go ahead and approve the AT&T. How much? And we'll nail, nail down the price. How much is that? Oh. Yeah. How much a year? No, it's a month. Okay. For 50? Yeah, you said it was a year. No, it, it, well, it's a two-year contract. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's going to be, uh, here's the monthly pricing for dedicated internet, 50 MB, 606 for two years. I pay thirty dollars a month for three hundred and fifty. We're business. This is going to be a day, one day. I don't understand. I, it can't be fifty megs. It has to be fifty gig. Actually, I don't even think fifty gig is it. Fifty MB. That'll sell for a fifty MB, a hundred MB, and one fifty MB. Don't. Well, did yeah. our spectrum residential it need a hundred? I think so. Huh? I pay 79 No, the 100 MB. I think mine's, mine's pretty fast because I still own the Time Warner, what they had, and Spectrum doesn't even offer what I have. So mine's, mine's like 1 or 150. Are you higher than Spectrum even offers? Or what they tell us, right? what they tell, or have told Eric or whoever, that a residential, you are on a shared internet line. Mm -hmm. This is a dedicated line just for us, period. And you said that's 606 a month? Well, 606 a month for two year for two year contract. No, that one was five ninety nine though, wasn't it? For a five year contract for a two year contract it was five seventy five. Yeah. That's that's not enough difference to I'll make a motion that we go with at and and ask them if they will be competitive. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? I'm going to be the first to tell you I know nothing about computers, so I, uh, I would look to Dustin to tell me if we were doing the right thing or not. Well, but I, I know mean, you're I, involved I with understand. the team. Yes. Talk to Christine over at the hub because I can understand, you know, several hundred dollars for a dedicated line, but I don't know that they're paying as much as you're going to pay for 50 megs for, well, I don't know. I don't know. I would talk to Christine over there because they actually had somebody come in and put them a new connection in because what they had was, and it was a, a totally another, I don't even know who it is. It wasn't, it wasn't at and it wasn't Spectrum. It was somebody else that came in and put a fiber, put a dedicated fiber line in. Now it's symmetrical if it's 50 up and 50 down and it's symmetrical and that's pretty hot. Uh, but, I don't know, that just seems. Like well, maybe tomorrow I can call Christine and see. We can always come back and not do it and revisit it next month or special call if we need to. Okay. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the 21-22 audit review. You've got a packet. I had talked with uh, Dan Drain, the auditor, and of course he drives down from Meade County for a few minute presentation and I told him, I said, I think I understand it enough. We understand it enough to go over it if, if he was okay with that. And the most wonderful thing is, all the way across the board, we ended up in the black for the year. You had no issue with anything in it, huh? No, I don't think there was any issue. No. No, that's all I think matters. He didn't find anything. You know, like I say, everything is in the black. Yeah. 
motion to approve it. Yeah, we need to accept the report. I move to accept the R's report for uh, 21-22. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? If those in favor, say about the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bank signature card. Uh, yes, can we talk about that after closed session? Okay. Next item is change on cemetery price. Yes, we have uh, we have started on the new, a new section of the cemetery, uh, and I'm assuming we're going to follow suit on, on naming it what section. Uh, on what? We have A, a through I on sections, so I'm assuming this one's going to be J. Oh, okay. Uh, we, you, oh, you said naming. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, yeah, well, what, what, what oh, you said Amy. I'm like, what's Amy? Uh, and we need to decide on price per lot. Are we going to leave the same? Or are we going to up it? Uh, what is it? Five? It's 400. 400. Well, I thought it was five. What's most of the places? I, I, I can't tell you that. I don't know. We can bring it back next meeting. I would. I would check around with, you know, Central City, Morgantown, let's go different places. Have substantially them. less in Allsboro because we are getting some business. And theirs is the last, I think, that the gentleman told us theirs was like, I hate to go figure, but it was three or four times more than ours. Because there's that premium, but the amount of burials they have a week, probably. Okay, next item of business under new business is nominations for Board of Adjustments. It's got on here two, but actually we only have one. I don't think we can do the other one. And I'm all for him when he's somewhere else, but uh, yeah. no, this, is, this is for the Planning and Zoning Board of Adjustments. And I would put up for your consideration, Joyce Crump, for that position. I will say this is... Uh, to be, for all clarity here, transparency, this is James's wife, but I've talked to KLC, and because she does not do anything, her board will do anything that goes directly to this board, to this commission. So we would not be making anything done on something that her board does. It all has to go through planning and zoning and then to here. Uh, I'll make that motion. To, uh, I move to nominate Joey Crump for the Board of Adjustments. And I don't know, A.B., should we? Is it kosher for Jim to second a nomination for his wife to an appointment? That's what I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it would be. Do what? Yeah. Not kosher for him to even vote. No, I knew that. That's, but I didn't think the. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I was going to withstand. Oh, you got a quorum. You got a quorum issue, don't you? Yeah. We have to do it at the next meeting. But we'll hold off the next meeting. Yeah. I don't. What's the need? Is there a need, need, need for the position? Well, it's been vacant for a little while because we've had a hard time finding anybody to fill it. But I don't know that another month is going to make any difference. I mean, it, it, it won't matter. I don't think there's anything we can uh, do about if it. He, if he could second it, then you. Well, we have to. We can. Have a special uh, I, think, I think we need to wait till. I, I do too. The safest thing to do. I didn't know Commissioner Robinson wasn't going to be here tonight, so I didn't think that wasn't going to be an issue. So, okay, we'll table that one. Okay, Jim, do you have anything to bring before us? No, everything. Uh, I haven't heard anything disruptive for a while. I am glad to see that our street project is about to come to an end. Yes, and me I too. Do it for you. Well, I've had a lot of people comment <laughs> how nice this is. It it really I, kn I know the staff in the office is glad <laughs> for it to be done <laughs> since they've had to take the brunt of the phone calls. I saw the lights downtown this week. They really look pretty cool down there, the, the pumpkins. I yeah. I did see that. Shelby ordered those. Mm -hmm. Shelby ordered the pumpkins. We had those paid for by a donor. Good. So, okay. Do you have any? I just want point of information. Uh, then, yeah, I got one thing with police. That I'll, it might start. 
Uh, I talked to Paul about possibilities if we got the new room, having some new furniture. And I got a, hard to find somebody to uh, do this. I did get hold of the camp boys, and Jared's going to be laid off this winter. He might be interested in, in uh, constructing what he did, because they did it to physical court. So I'll let everybody know at that time if he's going to be able to do it and then try to squeeze Larry out of some money to get the material. Okay. All right. I've just got you know, two things. One is this is a letter received from the judge executive. Uh, as we are all aware, our first responders are vital importance to our county. The Ohio County Fiscal Court is in the process of planning a dinner to recognize and show appreciation to these people. Our plan is to have a first responders appreciation dinner on February the 8th, 2024. The meal will be catered. We would also like to provide each first responder with a small appreciation gift. More details will follow. We want to include the fire department volunteers, sheriff's deputies, police departments, 911 dispatch, ambulance personnel, and jail deputies. The mayors of each town, city, other elected officials, magistrates of the fiscal court will also be invited. As you can see, this will be a large event. We will be contacting local businesses to ask if they would like to acknowledge our appreciation by making a gift money donation to be used for door prizes. Any contribution you're able to make towards this uh, event would be greatly appreciated. Contributors will be acknowledged in the program, and if you have any questions, you can call Ann Melton and give her phone number. And they have a silver sponsorship at uh, $250, a bronze at $500, and a gold sponsor at $1,000 and it has got Judge Johnston's signature. When they got a deadline for having it? It doesn't have a deadline on here. I've talked to Ann about it a little bit because she's talked to me and asked some questions. They're gonna have it in one of the buildings at the fairgrounds up on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have the tables set up and they're bringing in tables and chairs tablecloths, the meals will be served. They're wanting to do something really nice. And I think they're gonna have the food set up in the other building and transport back and forth. Uh, I don't know what they're thinking in this way of uh, gift or a uh, token of appreciation, but I just know this is something mm -hmm. they've been working on for a while and wanting to get going and they're reaching out. I thought they were gonna reach out to the city separately, but this is, made out to the city of Beaverdam, so they've done this one through, even with the businesses as well, so. I think we're going to ask, talk to some of the cities, see what they're thinking, what they're going to give. This was in my mailbox when I got here today, so. They discussed it at the last fiscal court meeting, and I feel like the fiscal court could have come about 100, but I could be wrong. We actually have a meeting on it tomorrow at noon, if you'd like to come down, to be at the fiscal court meeting. Maybe get some more information. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's the same one we just checked. Yeah, at noon. You go. Tomorrow, I'll try it. Check it out. I think it's a great idea. I think it's something we've seen it. They've been doing it in some other communities along the way. And just something to do to show. Because I know there's a lot of folks right there that don't get the appreciation they need for what they do. Mm -hmm. I think where the uh, inspiration comes from is Davis County does a first responder gala. Yeah, they had that big. <clears throat> and the other thing I have was actually brought to my attention tonight with David uh, is our the city's burning ordinance. Right now, our ordinance was passed in July of 1971. And it, well, I'll read it. Only combustible materials such as paper, boxes, and leaves shall be burned. No burning by any person, firm, or corporation shall be permitted when unattended, nor shall there be permitted any smoldering fire, smoldering burning barrels, or other smoldering incinerators. Burning leaves, garden spots, building materials, or any other combustible materials shall be permitted only when weather conditions and safety factors are favorable. Any uncontrolled fire will be a violation of this section. And then no burning shall be permitted in any location where it will cause damage to another's property, such as shrubbery, flower streets, buildings, or fences. And what is recommended, well, first of all, we don't even meet the state guidelines. So like I told David, we, there's been an issue here in town with some burning that 
he's addressed, but uh, they're meeting our guidelines, but they don't meet the state guidelines. And since they're str more stringent than ours, they have to go by the state. But we're just trying to bring this in kind of, <laughs> like I said, up into the 21st century. But what he's proposed is one with uh, burning within city limits, uh, only combustible materials such as natural growth, storm debris, which would be trees and limbs, tr or tree limbs, uncoated household paper and cardboard products shall be burned. I think I would change that shall to a can or may be burned. Uh, no burning by any person, firm, or corporation shall be permitted when unattended, nor shall there be permitted any smoldering fire, smoldering burning barrels, or other smoldering incinerators. Burning shall be permitted only when weather conditions and safety factors are favorable. Any uncontrolled fire will be in a violation of this section. And then uh, fire emergency, all open burning is prohibited when a fire emergency is declared. And fire hazard season from October 1st to December 15th and from February 15th to April 30th, burning within 150 foot of any wooded area is allowed only between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. And D, no burning shall be permitted in any location where it will cause damage to another's property. Are you saying that, that it's permissible for people in town to have an open burning barrel? No. That's what I thought. I said, I didn't think no, that's what, did, that's I what I'm talking about. <laughs> Does that bring shall not be permitted to have a smoldering fire or burn barrel. It okay. brings us in line with the Kentucky Division of Air Quality. Okay. Um, what, what you're allowed to burn, what you're not allowed to burn is a lot different than what most people think. Mm -hmm. um, through the Division of Quality, you're allowed like cardboard, uh, certain paper products, and then anything natural growth, weeds, trees, tree limbs. Um, you're allowed to have, of course, your campfires, ceremonial bonfires, an outside pit for cooking, um, and that pretty much sums it up, is all you're allowed to do. The only time that Division of Air Quality allows a burn barrel is for construction if it's under, if the ambient air temperature is under 50. Um, but that is for construction work at construction sites only. And that's an, that's an old thing that's been around for, since the 60s. That's it's rare to happen anyway. It's very rare to happen, yes. Those were used as warming stations. For some reason, the cover area still has it in place. So. But you, the way this, the way our court current ordinance reads is like he said, we're not up to par with what the state is, and it has building materials, which was the biggest thing listed. Mm -hmm. So anything man-made, any type of pallets or two by fours or anything that's ever been man-made or have any type of curing on it, is illegal to burn to the EPA. Our ordinance said you could, of course. We have to go with what the state says, so we were we already had we're already on theirs. This just brings ours up to par with what it is, so it's accurate. Okay, that, that makes sense. The the one thing that's not in there it talks about the burn barrels. It's um, since they're not le not to be left smoldering, but it's not actually listed that you can't have one for like limbs and cardboard and stuff. And I guess that would be a discussion if. That's something y'all wanted to add. No burn barrels at all could be added, obviously. But um, there was nothing in the old ordinance and nothing in the new ordinance. Can you give everybody a copy yeah. of this? He's got a copy for everybody it's to look over. I mean, we don't have to do anything on it tonight. I just wanted to kind of get it started. Yeah, and that, that was the thing is on the old ordinance, and it's in the new one too. I left that there. It talked about not allowed to leave them smoldering. See, the, the top portion is the existing, and the bottom is the, this is the one that's already uh, recommended or suggested. If that's something the city would like to see added to it, of course, it, that'd be no problem. I would love to see, can, can we ban leaves? <laughs> well, how's our vacuum truck doing? It wasn't really good shape at one time. Did you get it all fixed? Oh, yeah. Good. I would be fine for it as long as you keep that vacuum truck going. Yeah, but there was a lot of leaves burned last year. Yeah, there was. There'll probably be some more this year. That's why I didn't know if we could ban that. <laughs> Since we had that, because they always want to rake them up into the rope ditch to burn them. And a lot of times they'll rake them in the ditch and never burn them and clog up the ditch. Well, it's even worse when they do burn them because then all that ash, ash and soot gets in the tile and turns into almost like concrete. We had once that one address that burnt limbs and leaves in the ditch right next to the plastic tile and it melted the tile all the way into the road. Blacktop road. Blacktop road. 
By the way, she's wanting you to come oh, I know. clean some limbs up. Yeah. I just ran into her this weekend. <clears throat> but think about this and give A.B. a chance to look at it as well to see if there's anything you all want added. And A.B., can we put in there no burning leaves in the, in the road ditch? In the? Like the road or on, on city right away? Absolutely. Okay. Maybe that'd be a good way to do it. You know, burn. I mean, even if they burn them in the yard, it keeps it out of the ditch and keeps the issues. Right. The ditch is yeah. Filled up with the I'm trying to meet them halfway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can sit at my house and not breathe for two weeks. Yeah. And I don't even know where they're burning them at. But. Especially if they do it after a little bit of rain or dewy morning or something, you get off, puts off a lot of smoke. All right. Larry, you got anything? Yes, I need the uh, need this in the minutes uh, that we are going to move two CDs uh, at Commonwealth Community Bank in Hartford. Uh, they are very, very old CDs on Sunnyside Cemetery. Uh, one of them CD is, is CD number three one zero eight seven seven three for five hundred nine dollars and forty three cents. The other CD is number. Three zero zero five 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 for one hundred and one dollars and seventy seven cents. Uh, since they were so old, there's no paperwork on them over there, no signature cards or anything. So they need a, a record of the minutes that we're going to move them. Uh, we have moved some other money around. Interest rates have gone up quite a bit. So the CDs that we're moving to the banks here in town are going to be drawn five point two five percent for twelve months. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Anything else? That's it. Until after closed session. Well, Jill, do you have anything? Nancy who? Or Cree? Mm -hmm. So several people have been asking her. We'll let her know. Okay. Mike? Yes, I've got one policy that need approval of. Uh, Gentleman from DOCJT, uh, it's a sexual assault uh, kit that was sent three or four years ago, but he has started looking over some of them. He found several that he didn't like the wording in. So uh, we took the policy, that KLC's policy, where it's been added. Uh, I'll show you what's been added to it, but that would suffice Richmond if we send that to him. So uh, I had, they sent me a letter like on, I got like on the first, and they needed the policy like on the second. So, but anyway, so we got that took care of. We sent it. Uh, just so y'all know, uh, the I didn't run off the whole thing, but here's the part that's checked here is what's added. That part that's checked right here. Okay. You got one. Can you give me one? Just the elimination DNA sample. That's the only part that's been added to. The only other thing would be different in it. Here, I'll give you one. Uh, the only other different thing that would be different on it, I'll show you right here. The old one says sexual assault kits. Mm -hmm. The new one says sexual assault evidence collection kit. <laughs> so we had to change that. So it'll be, but it'll be the same identifier in our, in our policy Everything book. Everything else is the same. Just, just, just make some changes. And we was one of 200 that had to do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so you need that in the form of motion. Well, I would uh, move to accept the amendment to the sexual assault kit to be, uh, as Mike said, a sexual assault collect assessment collection kit mm -hmm. and the, uh, be retroactive to October 1st. Yeah. I 
a second. Do we have a motion and a second? Is there any further discussion? Andy, do you see any problem? With <laughs> well, who, who's requesting this, Mark? That's from Richmond. Uh, that comes from KLC and the guy from Richmond. But that's the, the Richmond's the academy, right? Yeah, Richmond. The place academy. academy. I can tell you that. I just want to clarify the academies who's asked for this, and KLC just had some samples for you to go uh, by. His name is Eric Griggs. He's Assistant General Counsel, Justice and Public Safety Cabinet, uh, and he represents the Department of Criminal Justice. But this is through KLC, and, and this Mr. Riggs had already looked at that and approved that. And what's checked is that, that I, in addition to it. This Second. is the only thing? Yes, the only thing is yeah. uh, to the policy. Uh, okay, we have a motion and a second. No further discussion. Uh, those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. And there may be some, a few more coming later on, but I just need to get one done now. Thank you. David. Oh, and by the way, our two, uh, Jacob and Noah, they got started yesterday at the academy, so. They're sure they're enjoying themselves about that. And it looked awful nice when they went both of them had a suit on. <laughs> well, if it's something new they started, I think everybody has to wear a suit the first day now. But they look good when they laugh. I reckon nobody's called, so they made it through day one anyway. <laughs> do, you, do you know where any of the movement is or how it's going on getting the academy set up in Madisonville? I haven't heard anything. They're talking about putting Yeah, and I think it's gotten a lot of support from a lot of different organizations yeah, across the state. All the Western Kentucky, yeah. you know, Well, but it's, I think, getting support from Northern Kentucky and Eastern Kentucky because it would free up slots oh, yeah, in Richmond. Oh, that's true, too. I think they're as, as anxious as yeah. West Kentucky is. Well, see, we, y'all know we've worked on this since February. Started back in February working on it, and uh, Sheriff's Department's got two. They're, they still are sometime in February next year for mm -mm. Okay. Hey, B, do you have anything for open? Not, not for in here. We're okay, yeah. Session. I need to entertain a motion to go into closed session. Move to close closed session. <laughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. Jim did. He said no. Yes. Yeah, he's the only one. Of <laughs> 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 hey, we ain't done yet. <laughs> he is, though. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you talked me into it. I'll stay right here. We'll oh, my. Uh, okay, we're back in open session, and we did close session, and no, no business was conducted, obviously, during that time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Much what's ready to pay a twelve dollars an hour going twelve fifty at the probation. I moved to hire Jacob Himes at the rate Larry suggested. Second. We have a motion and second. Further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, the other thing I have is we are renewing some CDs and I would like to add Travis Carter to the signature card along with Amy Puckett, myself, and the mayor. And that's a signature card on any money, any checks, uh, any transactions of vehicles. It takes Money. dual signatures to do everything. Yes. Um, and it does take two signatures. I do. I make a motion that we add Travis on all of those checks and things, whatever you said. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Chris, you have anything you want to? No. <laughs> Mike's just looking at me like, don't ask, don't ask. <laughs> I make a motion we adjourn. Okay, okay.